What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now let's talk about a few different reasons of why your mower just won't go. Now what I'm talking about here is when we get on the mower, we start it up, we think everything is good to roll, we push down on those pedals or we push forward on those levers and nothing happens. We're not moving whatsoever. And what you may actually see is that whenever you are on that machine, if you're on a tractor style and you have those pedals, whenever you're pushing those pedals down, they're really soft, they're going Going down they're loose and they're not moving or whenever you're over here on the zero turn you're pushing those handles forward they are loose and there's just nothing giving nothing doing so let's go ahead and show you three different things of why this may be happening and the first one could be a very very simple fix now i'm going to go ahead and hop on this mower start it up i'm going to push in on my parking brake turn the mower on so we're on and normally we would think, okay, we are good to go. We started our mower. But now if I go and I push these pedals, you can see they're just really soft. They're going in and nothing is happening. I'm not moving. I should be moving. The mower's on. My blades aren't on. My parking brake isn't on, but I'm not moving. Well, the first thing that you need to check is going to be your transmission disengage lever. Now, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, go ahead and move to the back of your mower like we are here and look for a metal lever just like this. Now, if it is pulled out, normally on almost all mowers, this would mean that your transaxle is disengaged. And sometimes even there will be a sticker right here by this that says pull out to move tractor manually, or it may have a picture of the rod out and a little person pushing this mower. What that means is that is going to be unlocking your transmission from the drive system. So whenever we pull that out, now we are able to push this mower. It completely disengages that transmission, making your, your pedals non-functional. So to fix this on a tractor style, we would simply push this back in. Now you do also have these a lot of times on most zero turns. Now, a lot of times they're going to be above each one of your drive motors because on a zero turn, you will have two of those drive motors, meaning you have two transaxle disengage levers. They may be a pull pin system, sort of like this one here, or they could be a just a lever that needs to be turned inward or outward to unlock those. But that is your first thing to check. Now, once we've checked that, we get back on the mower, we start it up and we try to go again and we are still not moving. The second thing that we need to check is your drive belt. Now, I'm not talking about the belt that goes onto your mower deck. I'm talking about the belt that runs from your engine to your transaxle. So on a tractor style mower, this is going to be the belt that is way up high underneath the mower that runs directly from underneath your engine all the way back to your transaxle. And then on a zero turn, this belt is gonna be a lot smaller belt that still ran from the engine pulley around your two transaxles to run those motors. So this may be a little bit tricky to check. This may be a deal where we have to pull the deck off of the mower or on a zero turn, make sure to get that raised up in the rear, make sure we're safe and check to see if that belt is either damaged or maybe it has just come off of the pulleys. If that belt is not running from your engine back to your transaxle on your tractor style or around your engine pulley and then around both of those trans axles on your zero turn, then your levers will be useless and you will not be going anywhere. So the second thing is we want to make sure and check that transmission belt. Now, if neither one of these things is wrong with your mower and we're still not moving, one last thing you could check would be to see what your hydraulic fluid looks like in the reservoirs that's on those mowers. But I'm here to tell you that if you happen to check those and see that that transmission fluid is low or just non-existent, it is more than likely that you are going to have some sort of transaction failure. So we're hoping that this is not the case, but keep in mind that this could happen. There are times whenever we happen to have damage to those transaxles, they leak that fluid out, we run them, and then they just happen to go out. So if you're having these issues, make sure and check those fluid levels. If they are gone, the next step that I would say is to make sure and call your local repairman or call your local dealership. Make sure if you do have warranty on these mowers to make sure and get that taken care of. And if you don't, we need to go ahead and get that mower in to assess the damage and see if we can't get that fixed. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you're needing any John Deere parts at all, make sure to check us out at 247parts.com. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey, guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one.
buy your parts right up here, and subscribe right here.